Now the next uh, fun thing to do is the tail. Okay, uh, to paint the tail, I'm kind of using the uh, Chinese painting techniques. Okay, um, what do I mean? Okay, I'm gonna load my whole brush with blue. Okay, so kind of thick blue, and then on one side with a little, little bit red. So this side has red, this side is now. So which means one side is darker than the other side. Okay. Hold my brush. One brush stroke, one, uh, you know, one feather. I want next one a little bit more red. So I put a little bit more red here. So each stroke, you get a feather. My sketch, you know, the, 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 the is there, you know. Uh, the, but I change, I change all the time. So you don't have to paint exactly what you plan on. Now, I'm using the same technique continuously, so approximately the image I see, but not the exact one. Doesn't have to be exact. Again, your duty is not to to uh, illustrate the luster for those who never see a luster. So you paint the essence of the luster. Use this brush, you're gonna cut in a little bit. After I uh, have a couple more strokes, I'll do that. Dry stroke. So keep a little texture of the feather, not a lot. At the area, contact with that. You got to have a little bit more co darker color. So dark against light. Okay. All right. Now, for some, uh, you know, feathers. You can see this, uh, I, I'm, uh, I call it a soft bone that supports each feather. So on the dark area, you cannot do dark. So you use a brush to lift up color. To get that soft bone out. 